Okay, here we are at Cine Latino uh, 2022 here at the Marcus Theaters, and I am with an excellent actor, Pepe Serna. Uh, nice to see you, Pepe. Um, well, let's uh, start off the beginning. How did you get involved in acting? I was just a born actor at three years of age, jumping up on my godfather's boxing ring and uh, getting applause, uh, and that, that's what I wanted. And so I was always performing everything I did. Every I was a Golden Glove champ because I wanted to be in front of a big audience, and uh, just anything and everything I could do to perform, I did. Yeah, so it just was organic. You have just a long list of filmography and work, but where did the first sort of big break uh, for you came in when you started? Well, my, uh, in 1964, I did my first movie in Corpus Christi as a bullfighter. And I was the lead, I was, and it got destroyed in a hurricane. So uh, then from there, I went to New York to work at the World's Fair. I went to uh, the Marine Corps. The next year, the year after that, in 67, I was in Mexico for two years. Got into the production of hair that ultimately took me to, to California, where I met my wife the second day I got to Hollywood. And I joined an improv group, and so we did it, and it was great. Uh, the, the movie they're showing today is Life is Art. Um, tomorrow, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Life is Art, but the, during the festival here. Um, what is that movie about? It's my life. Yeah, telling the story of since I'm three and how I, what I did during school and, and, and how I was motivated and went on and those same followed me through through my first movie and like I said New York and Mexico and Hollywood and improv and the workshops yeah it's been uh, I did I haven't seen the movie but I did see the trailer there's uh, amazing uh, actors that had talked to you as well are about the in the film like uh, Eva Longoria and Edward James almost are they all friends of yours over the years yeah yeah Eddie almost is, is, is my, my best friend. And, and uh, yeah, we've been working together for years. And Eva, I've known, and now I'm working with Gloria Calderon Kellett on With Love on Amazon Prime, the series that I'm on now. It's great. And um, it Cheech and Robert Beltran, and it, it just goes on, you know, it was uh, amazing. He works with some great directors as well over the years. Uh, I looked at him, Richard Donner, Inside Moves. Richard Donner, uh, yeah, Richard Donner, yeah. And then Scarface, and Palma. Brian De Palma. How was it working with those directors? It was great. Uh, and also I worked with him on Black Dahlia. Uh, um, yeah, Dalton Trumbo I worked with. Uh, he was the director. And, and uh, um, just uh, Henry, uh, Henry Hathaway was an old... Uh, Western director that I did one of my first movies with and Hal Wallace the big producer he was incredible and yeah so it was and it's just been in, endless uh, John Schlesinger and Day of the Locust uh, it just goes on and on of, of all the great directors and writers well, you're a great, an act, great actor, and the reason I say that with Scarface, you're uh, acting opposite Al Pacino, and that's after the Godfather movies. Do you get nervous, or you just see him as a fellow actor, and then you guys go around? Just a fellow actor. My One of my first movies was Shootout. was a Western with Henry Hathaway, and it was a Gregory Peck eight years after he won the Oscar for To Kill a Mockingbird. You know, for Atticus Finch, yeah. You're inside the character, and 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 your uh, your confidence is all about that of being real, and in the moment, and trying to and not and dismiss all of that, which isn't easy, but it's part of the discipline. Perfect, Tommy. I'm sorry. You're, you're Pecos. Uh, Pecos in Tibet. Name's Reno. Reno. It's an honor. So there's one burning question I gotta ask you: Is will there ever be a sequel to Buckaroo Banzai? <laughs> Oh, man, I've heard that a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know I'm not the first one that's asked that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, so you're a blue blazer, huh? Uh, well, I saw it in the 80s, loved it, but it's just a a fun, quirky type of movie. And the whole cast is uh, really great into it, but I, I'm sure at the time, did you know that it would have such a... Oh, you, never, you, you never know what's 
going to be a hit or not. You just enjoy doing it, and I enjoy doing everything. Yeah. I enjoy no matter how big or how small the part is. I want some music out of you characters. You want it, Artie? You got it. You like drama versus comedy? or anything? I like it all. I like, you know, I always like to bring humor into it. Uh, that's my nature. But, but it's fun to, to just play the straight out drama and the seriousness of it all because usually I tend to throw as much humor as I can into everything. It just naturally comes out of me. In the trailer, it also shows that you're painting. Are you an artist too as well? Yeah, yeah I'm a painter too. Yeah, and a gardener. I uh, have a jungle in my backyard, yeah, so. Yeah. Is there any future projects that we should look for after this documentary? Yeah, the, the big um, one next year will be um, Flaming Hot that Eva Longoria directs. And it's a, a great story. And uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. And um, after this shows at the uh, festival here, is that a documentary going to be shown elsewhere too? Yeah, we're from here is in Orange County, and then Austin, Austin. We're going to Austin, and then after that to Palm Springs and and Watsonville and uh, 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 different, yeah, di different, different places. Yeah, they're coming. There's more and more are coming. Looks like a great uh, film to see here at the uh, Cine Latino uh, Film Festival 2022. Pepe, I just want to say you're just an absolutely excellent actor, and thank you so much for talking with us uh, coming today. You.